Hi friends, greetings from Dr. M. V. Rao. In this video, I am trying to present a brief account of supply chain in sustainable spice farming. The subject of supply chain is too vast and differs from product to product. It is impossible to give an overview of supply chain in a small slideshow like this. But I am attempting to give some tips based on our experience without going much into details. Now let us have a gross definition of a supply chain. A supply chain is a connecting system which involves primarily a supplier and a consumer. Earlier, only a supplier and consumer were being considered in a supply, but now there are various entities involved in view of the importance of quality, quantities, storage, timely delivery and other factors in sustainable and growing business. What are all that are included in a supply chain? A supplier's organization, the personnel involved, the resources involved in all stages, the methods, practices and the information. The basic question is why there should be a supply chain? This is to maintain the quality, time, safety and consistency, to stand effectively in a competitive environment, to make business flourish and long-standing. In short, a proper supply chain management leads to a sustainable business. To the question, is a supply chain important in agriculture? Yes, the produce is seasonal, time-oriented and a consumable product. It needs to be produced in a high quality and should reach the consumer in time, maintaining quality involving different stages. In case of food items, safety is of prime importance. Since I am more involved in spice farming, I would like to mention who are il involved in a sustainable spice farming supply chain. I'll say all vendors to grower or a producer, seed and saplings vendors, fertilizer vendors, compost and manure vendors, the transporters of the above items, the work team involved in preparing the land for sowing. Coming to the field, the grower himself or the producer, then all those involved in water supply, the scientists and the laboratory personnel, the pesticide, herbicide vendors, organic extract or herbal suppliers, the spraying organizations or the personnel, the team involved in monitoring, all the personnel involved in harvesting, all those involved in post-harvest practices like picking and drying practices, vendors of packing material and related items and the maintenance team. Apart from this, the transport team, the cold storage where applicable, the dealers, the distributors, the quality control team, the godowns or the warehouses and the final packing team. Finally, the supermarket team or the marketplace the marketing team, the development team, advertising team, accounts, finance and related procedures team and the consumer himself. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe.